Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this, or they they were asking how to draw or find patterns like this. Somebody answered them, Renaissance scroll patterns. And this came up. Doesn't, it looks perfect on here, but when you bring in the Corel, it looks not so good. But we're going to go to bitmap. You need to check on it first. Go to bitmap, resample. We're going to change it to 300 dots per inch. We're going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, convert to black and white. You can see it changes quite a bit, but it's pretty good. And then go to trace bitmap. Yours are going to be under bitmap, but I've got an icon right there. Outline trace clip art. And that's going to take a lot of the color away. We're just going to hit OK. Then I'm going to nudge that out of the way, and I'm going to left click or right click the field, but I'm really going to go left click, right click. So now I've got just the outline. This is a really good start. And I'm just going to show you a couple of tricks that I think will help you. I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go to group and ungroup. First of all, I'm going to get rid of the person's name. And then there's a lot of these can be very easily fixed with a smoothing tool. But like right here, uh, depending on what you want to do, and I'm just going to make it easy, I'm going to take the three-point curve, but I'm going to put one there to there. I'm just going to kind of curve it. Now I'm going to nudge that out of the way. And I am going to draw a little bitty ellipse. And then I'm going to control D, move it over here. And then I'm going to make this ellipse a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to grab those two ellipses. I'm going to go up to object, or I'm going to go to effects and blend. I'm going to blend them eight times. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go right here to new path. I'm going to put them on my path. And you see it didn't go to the end, so right here I'm going to go to blend along full path. Now you can take all this, go up to object, break blend apart. That way you get your stick out of the way. And because we've nudged it over, we can delete all these and we're going to change these to black I'm just going to right click my mouse and then I'm going to nudge it over there you have a much more symmetrical uh, pattern you're going from big to little now granted some of these are a little bit different but you can do the same thing for all of them you know this you might even clean up with the smoothing tool if you have eight seven or above and just click on each one and just kind of just barely touch it and that looks pretty good and then you could just these are individual so you kind of have to do them individually but and i've got my tool way too big um let's lower it to 0.1 that way you don't interfere with anything else. And if you'll just click on it, and this might have been the way to do the other one. It's kind of the same effect. But you need to sh sharpen those all up. And then just kind of do the same thing. You might want to blend with that one. You know, uh, just depending on what you, your preference on how you like it. Now, this is all one piece, so you could just swipe through it. And it looks pretty good. You know, things like this you need to watch out for being so close to that. Now, this is all one piece. So then you might want to take your shape tool. And let's zoom in here. And grab these nodes and just move them out of the way a little bit. Matter of fact, you could probably even delete these two nodes and see what happens. Looks pretty good. Move that note over there. You know, then you could get your smoothing tool back and smooth out part of these things. So that's how I would do it. This is going to be a pretty unique pattern once it's done. Let's just group it all together, Control G, and let's put it in the center of the page. And then what you could do is to see what it looked like, you could draw a rectangle. So since it's grouped together, you can hold down the shift key and double click your rectangle tool and then fill it in. 
and you just kind of see what it looks like. And then that's going to help you see some more flaws, like the roughness and like these didn't get filled in, which they wouldn't. But see my ones I drew? That looks pretty cool. And then you could very easily, still with this group together, well, you'd actually have to ungroup it. Let's go to object, group, and... Well, see, that's a smart fill. And, and so you have to grab all this, you know, especially on this line right here. And you'd really have to ungroup this now. Click on it, go to object, group, and ungroup. Then you can use the smoothing tool. And then see how it gets the bounding box when you know you're on it. But if you just smooth this out just a little bit, give it more of a plant look, it wouldn't take that long to do this. And, uh, and a lot of times you could, you know, create your own pattern. Let's see if this has a, has a closed, I'm trying to grab the zoom tool. And this does. So this is something that you could smart fill. And then you could use that to create other patterns. You know, once you get this thing cleaned up, let's clean it up a little bit with this. Let's get our make our smoothing tool a little bit bigger. Let's make it even bigger. The reason you don't want it bigger sometimes is you're going to interfere with some other objects you might touch. But let's get this thing a little bit smoother. And then you can always do stuff like this. Control, I mean, I left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button. Move that over. And then you could actually nudge it into it a little bit. Take your weld tool and weld it. And now you have a completely different scroll pattern. And if you did that with more of the items, you could create your, your, your whole new scroll pattern. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you.